Hey, welcome to Chaplain Chat. I'm sharing now themes in Advent, and I hope you go back and read, look at the introduction to Advent. I think I posted that. It's on YouTube, and I post it on Facebook. But Advent is the season that we prepare not only for the birth of Jesus, but we pre we get ready for his coming again. You see, we're really in Advent until Jesus comes again. I like the themes of Advent. Hope, which I talked about in a previous chaplain chat. I want to talk about peace right now. And then I'll do two more on, on love and joy. I love these themes. Some of our churches, we light candles, don't we? In, 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 for each Sunday of Advent. Let me share with you the theme of peace. And if you'd like to get my notes on this, email me or Facebook me back. Give me your email. Uh, give me your email, Facebook me back, and, and, and I'll give you the whole notes. But peace is what I want to focus in on this on this season of Advent. Now, peace, again, is not the way the world looks at peace. You know, I want there to be no more wars. I, don't, I want there to be an absence from argument, strife. I want everybody to get along. You know, who was it that said, can't we just all get along? Well, in reality, no. We're going to have wars. We're going to have strife. We're going to have that until he comes again. So what is peace? How do we prepare in peace? And it's not as the world sees it. I think peace is knowing the presence of God's going to be with you in the turmoil, in the wars, in the turmoil, in the wars, in the strife. That's what... But God is with you in peace. One of the passages I really like reading in, in this Advent, it's found in Luke at, at chapter 1. And in, fa in fact, this is where Zechariah, he's, I, I picture him holding his little baby. Now remember, his little baby is John the Baptist. And boy, that's an interesting whole story how John the Baptist came to be. Got to go back and read that. But Zechariah is now, I could see him looking at his little baby John. Maybe he's holding them. But he says, and he looks at him. Look at this is in Luke chapter uh, 1, verse, verse 70, 76. 76. <laughs> and he says, he says, And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. You see, I believe what Zechariah is doing to John. He's saying, John, here is your destiny. Here is your purpose. When he was eight weeks old, all his life, I got a feeling his daddy was reminding him what his purpose is. I, I, I know my kids may be looking at this. I don't think I did that enough with my daughter, Erica, and my son, Andrew. But I want them to know if they're watching this, and I bet they are, that God has a purpose and plan for you. There's your destiny. There's your hope. Jesus does for all of us. Uh, but then Zechariah does something else. The first part of this, he's sharing, he's looking at his son. But then he says, because of the tender mercy of God with which the sun rises on us, on high, will visit us to shine upon those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of peace. Now I don't think Zachariah is looking at a son. Now I think he's looking at the one who's he, he's looking now at the one who's to come. See, now I think the prophecy is about Jesus. The first he's telling a son, here's your destiny. And now he's saying, here's one that's going to come. And I believe he's talking about Jesus, who's going to come and, and who's going to sit with us in the darkness and the shadow of death. He's going to be with us and to guide our fat, our feet. On the way of peace. See, there's the second theme for Advent. We prepare in peace. In the midst of the storms, in the midst of all the chaos of the world, God will be with us. He will guide us. He'll guide our fat feet on the path of peace. See, we prepare in hope and we prepare in peace for His coming again. Amen. God bless. See you next time on Chaplain Chat. And we'll talk about preparing in love. And again, if you want all my notes on this, it's not that much, but I can send the other verses. But let's prepare in peace. See you next time on Chaplain Chat.